He'll make you laugh, he'll make you gasp, and he just might eat your pancreas. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from Venom. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most memorable, entertaining, and intense moments from Sony's 2018 Marvel anti-hero film, Venom. Are you gonna, are you gonna eat anybody else? Most likely. Oh, God. Number 10, like a turd in the wind. You go anywhere in the city preying on innocent people and we will find you and eat both your arms and then both of your legs and then we will eat your face right off your head. Do you understand? This moment might have divided fans when it appeared in the trailer, but after seeing it in the context of the movie, many a naysayer changed their tune. In the trailer, the line seemed a little over the top and corny. Some felt it was unnecessarily graphic, others thought it undermined the character's image, while others still just thought it was bad writing. But placed towards the end of the film to represent Venom's growth as an anti-hero, it plays very differently. Coming from an extraterrestrial parasite that just asks for tater tots and chocolate, it's hilarious and on brand. So you will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. Do you feel me? Number 9. Venom reveals that he's a loser. On my planet, I am kind of a loser, like you. But here, we could be more. Excuse me? Few doubted that actor Tom Hardy would make the most of playing Eddie Brock slash Venom, even armed with less than stellar material. What no one could have expected, however, is just how much of a character the symbiote would be in its own right. Venom is more than an extraterrestrial force of nature and bad influence. He's got a big personality. Hardy really brings a lot of heart to the powerful pile of space goop. One of the best examples of this is when Venom reveals his motivations for helping Eddie save Earth. He's kind of a loser back home. We also like how he casually throws in that Eddie is a loser too. Cut the bullshit. What really made you change your mind? You. You did, Eddie. Number 8. Venom Survives. Goodbye, Eddie. Venom, no! Let's all be honest with one another. Did anyone in the audience really think that the Venom symbiote actually died in that big climactic battle? Not a chance. The reveal that Venom survived was an inevitable one. Sony's got a franchise to build. Rather than just phone it in, however, the screenwriters made this otherwise predictable scene a pleasure to watch by tapping into that unique brand of Venom charm and the schizophrenic performance of Tom Hardy. Hey, Eddie. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna tell Dan about this, okay? Look at her. She has no idea we are going to get her back. No, I don't think so. A seemingly normal, sweet conversation between Eddie and Anne is suddenly interrupted by that familiar voice in Eddie's head. The timing is perfect. Of course, the Stan Lee cameo that immediately followed was the ideal cherry on top. Hey, don't give up on her, either of you. We won't. Who is that guy? Okay. Wait, this thing looks delicious. Number seven, Eddie's adjustment period. Maria? Maria? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know how. After killing a number of hosts, the Venom symbiote finally finds a match in Eddie's homeless friend Maria. When he attempts to rescue her from the Life Foundation, however, the symbiote soon jumps ship to Brock. Though the rogue journalist should consider himself lucky he survived the experience, it wasn't exactly a smooth adjustment period. After escaping the facility with a little help from his new passenger, Eddie tries to get the wheels in motion to expose Drake back at his apartment. But the symbiote soon gets the best of him. He's chugging water, eating frozen tater tots, and chicken from the garbage. It's a wonderfully hectic scene that ends with a real bang. <laughs> Number 6. The First Suit Up From the moment that it bonds with Eddie, the symbiote gives him powers, even when it isn't showing itself. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. So many snacks, so little time. But we didn't come here to see a human being with superhuman strength and agility. We came here to see a hulking creature with huge fangs tear through henchmen like his comic book counterpart. The movie makes us wait until nearly the one hour mark. But after a thrilling buildup that progressively teased Venom's abilities, we finally got to see the symbiote in all its glory. Venom is terrifying to behold. 
and he delivers a line pulled right from the comics to announce his arrival. Giant tongued and chomping heads, this is the venom we've been waiting for. Number 5. Venom Goes to Lunch Waking up after having knocked himself out with a little help from his venomous reflection, Eddie tracks down Anne. I'm sorry, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh my god, Eddie, what are you doing here? Unfortunately, his condition has only gotten worse. As he storms her table, Anne asks him if he's drunk, but we think she's being kind. He's a sweaty mess and looks like he's been hitting something much harder than alcohol. And it is a delight to behold. Eddie, Jesus! This is dead. Dead. Eddie, sit down. Climbing into the lobster tank and chomping on one of its live inhabitants, he manages to ruin the appetites of an entire restaurant. Hey, Eddie. Number four, the carnage reveal. Hey, Red, I got a visitor for you. Mid and post credit scenes have basically become mandatory for superhero films. Some are just good fun, while others tease major story elements for a potential sequel. Venom's post credit reveal fits squarely into the latter category. And considering how well the film did at the box office, it's safe to say that this franchise will have the opportunity to deliver on the promise of this scene. Brock scores the interview of a lifetime with notorious serial killer Cletus Cassidy. I mean, I can turn it on if you want, but I can talk about the Dada's patterns of arterial spray. I bet you can. As comic fans will know, he's the man who becomes Carnage. Played by the talented Woody Harrelson, who's got no trouble playing psychotic killers, Cassidy is the promise of big things in the sequel. When I get out of here, and I will. There's gonna be carnage. Number three, Venom versus the SWAT team. Guys, you you, you do not want to do this, trust me. Mask! Drop it! All right, have it your own way. Mask! Drop it! What the hell is that? After bonding with the symbiote, Brock struggles to rein in the extraterrestrial's darker impulses, namely its desire to kill and bite off people's heads. Though Venom may take a little too much joy in his work, there's no denying that he makes for a valuable ally when backed into a corner. Pinned down by a SWAT team, Eddie unleashes Venom on the condition that the symbiote keeps it non-lethal. This is the first time that we really get to see what Venom can do, and boy is he ever good at mowing down his enemies. He might not kill, but he sure does maim and brutalize as he cuts through the smoke to decimate the SWAT team. <laughs> Number 2. The Motorcycle Chase In the lead-up to Venom revealing his full form, Brock is chased by some goons through San Francisco. The city's distinct topography of rolling hills makes for a uniquely challenging getaway, jam-packed with thrilling moments. Of course, what really makes this chase unlike any other you've seen before is the role played by the symbiote. Thank you. You are welcome. Venom's tendrils help him stay on the bike in situations that would cause even the most skilled rider to bail, while also protecting him from various hazards and projectiles. Of course, the symbiote assisted jump is the crowning jewel of this high octane creative sequence. No, you are out of the mind! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hi, Eddie. Whoa. 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 Mm. What the hell are you? I am Venom, and you are mine. Number one, freaking out and fighting henchmen. Do not open that door. After a phone call with Anne that got interrupted by the symbiote, and discovering its weakness for loud noises, Brock is already pretty on edge when Drake's goons show up. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm putting my hands up. You are making us look bad. I, no, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What follows is a fantastic sequence that combines expertly executed CGI with a phenomenal performance by Tom Hardy. It's one of the best arguments between Venom and Brock in the entire film, but it's also further elevated by Hardy's masterful physical acting. 
he really manages to convey that his body is not entirely his own. We suspect that the fight choreographer had as much fun designing this scene as we did watching it. Outstanding! Now, let's bite all the heads off and pile them up in the corner. Why would we do that? Pile of bodies. Pile of heads. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.